Today I'm making a broomstick lace scarf. It's a crochet stitch that looks super fancy and kind of neat, but it's actually really, really easy to do and it works up super fast, which is a total bonus when you are in a holiday crafting crunch, which is where I was when I made these scarves. Here's a broomstick lace scarf that I finished. It's not blocked or the ends aren't weaved in or anything like that. It just looks so pretty. This one is made using an Ogo ring, so you get lots of different colors that uh, work together great in this stitch. So for the next scarf, I'm using a Red Heart Super Saver for the yarn. And this is the different part from or a really different part from making a magurumi, which I usually make. So instead of downsizing the hook, I'm actually upsizing the hook, which is definitely strange for me. So the yarn calls for a five millimeter hook, and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. This is just total preference that I prefer this particular size. I don't want a tight scarf or have to worry about that. You can use the size that the yarn calls for, and that would be fine as well. And we begin stitching with chaining 36. And with broomstick lace, it's all about the multiples. So for this scarf, each little swirl is made up of five loops, plus there's an extra stitch to turn. So that's 36 stitches and not 35. After the chain, single crochet 35. And then it's time for the really fun part. So for this, I'm using this very large knitting needle. It's a size 50. However, it is called broomstick lace for a very good reason. You can absolutely use a broom handle or a wooden dowel or even a ruler. Just keep in mind that the thickness of the tool that you use to create the lace will determine how large each swirl is. So to begin the first row with the needle or the broom handle, we're going to use the hook to move the working loop onto the needle. Then turn the work. Next, insert the hook into the second stitch. We always skip the first stitch because the working loop on the hook counts as the first stitch. We'll pull up a loop from the second stitch and move it to the needle. It can be really hard to hold the needle and the hook at the same time. It is much easier to hold the needle between your legs to do this step. However, uh, to show you on video, I'm going to struggle this way for a little bit. So we finish pulling up a loop in each stitch and moving it to the needle, and we should have 35 stitches on the needle. And the next row is where the, the magic happens, I guess. Uh, something happens. This row is where we make the swirls. Some people like to slide all the loops off the needle at once and then work them up. I find I get them all twisted that way, so I like to just slide off the five loops that I'm working with and then push the rest of the loops down the needle a bit until I'm ready for them. You start every row with the chain one. This does not count as a stitch. It's just going to keep the group of loops secure. Next, you'll single crochet five through all of the loops. I like to open the swirl up a bit and hold it in place using the ring finger and thumb on my left hand. After five single crochet are complete, we're going to slide another five loops off the needle and we'll single crochet to secure them. This does count as a stitch. Work four more single crochet into the loops. That's five single crochet in total. And continue to work all the remaining loops this way. Slide off five, complete five single crochet in each grouping. Once all of the single crochets are completed, we have our first set of swirls. And before we cast on the needle again, let's do one row of single crochet. So that's 35 single crochet. Before we do that, we're gonna chain one to turn, and then we'll do our 35 single crochet. At the end, we'll turn the work and begin the casting on row again. After all the stitches are on, we'll do a row of swirls by taking five loops at a time and single crocheting five times into each grouping. And that is pretty much it for a basic broomstick lace scarf. Cast on, do a row of swirls, a row of single crochet, and repeat row of swirls, row of single crochet.
and you can repeat until you've gotten it as long as you like. I'm actually adding some tassels to the end of this scarf just to jazz it up a little bit. And there you have it, a broomstick lace scarf. Thanks for watching.